Alrighty, so all I want you to do for spelling today is you are going to turn to page 604 in your literacy book, and we are going to practice identifying words with that final stable syllable. So remember, with final stable syllables, we have um, letters that are not, the, the spelling is not going to change and they are going to be at the end of a multisyllabic word. So a word that has more than one syllable. So I'm highlighting this so it's easy to identify because when you go down here, you're going to read each sentence and underline the words with final stable syllables. So the words that we want to identify are words that end in L-E and say L, T-U-R-E, which say which says chur, I-V-E, which can say iv or I've, and then I-Z-E, which could say is or eyes. So I want you to remember that letter combinations spell unique sounds, like I just said. In the word table, the letters bull spell the sound you hear in the word bull. They sound very similar. In the word picture, the letters T-U-R-E spell the sound chur. When a word ends with the letters I-V-E, I told you it could say I-V or I-V, and that's because the I could spell either a short or long I sound. And then that's the same with I's or I's, okay? So as you are reading words that have these final stable syllables, and if you're unsure on the pronunciation, especially if it ends in I-V-E or I-Z-E, try it with the long vowel and the short vowel and see which that one sounds correct to you. So we're going to do number one together. Number one says, you cannot survive for very long without water. Well, our word with the final stable syllable is survive. And so I'm going to underline that word. It has I-V-E as the final stable syllable. You are going to do uh, the same thing for two, three, and four. Pretty easy. And then you don't need to do anything with the high frequency words aside from read them. Those words again are love and develop. Moving on, um, <clears throat> excuse me, some of you have started submitting your graphic organizer. I'm glad that you're on top of it. However, I want to reiterate that as you are listing your characters, you have to have more than one character. There are at least two characters in a fable, and most of the time in a fable, they are animals. Also, do not forget to list the traits. I posted a picture of this anchor chart we created in the beginning of the year to the Class Dojo storyboard. Remember, character traits are generally what is the character like on the inside? So we discussed yesterday that the hare, the rabbit, he's athletic, okay, but he also has a big ego. He doesn't think anyone can uh, beat him, which is why he goes and takes a nap. And then the tortoise is very patient. I would even say hardworking. Um, because despite knowing that the hare is faster, that tortoise pushed through and ultimately won because he didn't think that high, he didn't think too highly of himself and worked to cross that finish line. Now, also, don't forget that the setting, I want to know where the story takes place. Um, in fables, generally, it does take place outside. And so in this particular story, remember, it was in the woods on a racetrack. The moral. Um, a couple of you turned in something that just told me, a, like, a summary of what happened. The moral is the life lesson. Um, so I don't want to know that two friends got in a fight. That's not the life lesson. The life lesson is what did they learn after the fight? Just like the moral in this fable is slow and steady wins the race. That tortoise was slower than the hare, but because he was patient and persistent and didn't let the hare get under his skin, 
he kept pushing through and ultimately won. Um, and then as you do the beginning, middle, and end, this is a quick summary of, okay, so I'm going to say something like this is happening in the beginning, the middle, and then the end, and so forth. And then your illustration idea, um, I haven't decided yet if I want you to draw a picture. Sometimes pictures help. But if you choose to or at least write, what would you draw a picture of? If I was drawing a picture of this, I would probably show a rabbit or the hare. The hare sleeping on a tree or by a tree. And the tortoise, it's not going to show, um, and the tortoise running. That's the illustration that I have in my head. If you have any questions, please reach out. But please know that if this is not done correctly, I'm going to send it back. Um, and this is something you're going to have to continue to work on. And I don't want you to have to do it throughout the weekend because next week we are going to write these fables. And I want to ensure that you guys understand exactly what it is that you need to do. Um, these fables are different than a narrative because they are a short story that has a moral at the end. Um, and there are key characteristics that make a fable different than just a regular story. All right, y'all, I will be back with some math and good luck.